Hello, this is Vinny coming from HCG Day uh, VLCD 5, I believe, and it is the 16th of April, 2012, and um, just wanted to give a quick update. My little kitten just woke up, so that's why she's here. I was hoping to do this while she was still napping, but that didn't happen, so I um, wanted to give a quick update. Otherwise, I would probably wouldn't vlog again today. So, anyway, um, had an interesting day yesterday. <coughs> I <coughs> I um stayed on protocol for the most part. I had an extra breadstick and two strawberries. It was my morning fruit. <coughs> bless you, bless you. But I also had them two more in the afternoon um, just as part of my emotional eating I wasn't even particularly <coughs> hungry and um, but I also didn't eat my evening portion of protein or vegetable at all <coughs> so that was an odd day three breadsticks morning protein morning vegetable and two fruits um, I'm trying to follow the theory of don't eat unless you're hungry, but it's been, you know, obviously challenging. <coughs> bless you, bless you, sweetheart. And I think even more so challenging because just, I don't know what it is. I, I said that yesterday. I don't know what it is about HCG. Just crazy <coughs> things happen. Like my daughter, <coughs> bless you, bless you, got a little bit of a cold, which for most people would not be a big deal, right, Coco? Uh -huh. But for her, that is one of her asthma triggers. We just found out, I think I wasn't vlogging during that part, but we were at the hospital, found out she has asthma, and um, that is one of her triggers. So it is um, challenging because she's been wheezing and all of that and making me very, very emotional because, you know, I tried to put myself into her shoes and I got a panic attack thinking about an 18 month old not being able to breathe and how that would feel for her because she's been very, um, clingy is the wrong word, but needing my attention a lot more than even normal. So she's been my little Napoleon in a dress, right Cuckoo? Right? Yeah, she has. So anyway, just a little concern there because the last time we went to the hospital, you know, we were there for two days, and it was not a fun experience for any of us, for sure. <coughs> and even less fun when later on we got a $6,000 hospital bill. And so, not at all good. And according to her care plan, if she doesn't get better in the, this today, I should take her to the hospital again. Which anyway, getting stressed out about that. But anyhow, even after my oddly unconventional day yesterday, I was down 2.6 pounds today. In fact, my scale was weird. When I weighed it, the first time it was 3.6 pounds. Then when I weighed it on memory mode, it was 2.6. And when I did it again, it was even more than that. It was 3, almost 4 pounds. So anyway, but I'm sticking with 2.6 because that is what is going in my memory mode. So that's what it is. Um, anyhow, but one other thing I wanted to kind of talk about was that I, um, <laughs> Mom, did it, did it. yeah, really? When I go pick up my son from school, at least once a week, the three or four year olds that are there, two and a half to four or five year olds that go to his Montessori school, um, no, no. one of them will say something no, like, no, no, no. oh, you have a really big belly, or no, 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 do you no. have a baby in there, or something lovely along those lines. No, 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 no. I mean, they're small kids, so you can't really, I mean, I don't blame them. I really don't. I'm just like, no, I don't. And I just walk away to go get my son. But, you know, it, it happens on a at least weekly basis. 
and I was kind of thinking about that this morning on what would I do if that was my son that was asking this question and I saw I mean I'm sure I'm sure if the parents saw in fact one one mommy was like oh that's not a nice thing to say you know? But, um, no, that's not what she said. She said, Brian. <laughs> but I'm sure that's what she meant. So, anyhow. But I was thinking, as a parent, what would I... I mean, we live in, in a world where bullying is very... I don't know. It's... Yeah, yeah. It's a big deal. And I just wonder, you know, how I would deal with that what I would say to my son and if I should say anything to these kids or the, the teacher or anything. And then don't get me wrong, it's not that like I'm particularly feeling bullied by three year olds. That's not necessarily the case. It's that would it be the right thing to do to you know, start having a conversation about this because this is you know, when kids start to find out, oh, people have differences. And not everybody is the same. And how do I react to that? I'm going. I think first they point that out. I don't. None of them are doing it to be mean spirited. None of them are. You know, it's just pointing that out and how that could hurt somebody's feelings because obviously that of course makes me think of all the times that I was in. You know, I'm in my late twenties <laughs> now, late-ish twenties. So all the times in my early twenties and in my teen years you know, before I got married, that that would really, really affect me and hurt me, and, you know, times like that when that happens, so, anyhow, just thinking about that, thinking if, if I should say anything or do anything about it, maybe pull them aside and explain to them that's not a very nice thing to do, but I'm not their parent, so I don't know if that would be even be appropriate. Sweetheart, that's my tea, my love. Please don't take my tea and make a mess with it. Oh. Oh my gosh, I'm going to go pay for that. Um, anyhow, so that's kind of just a thought. wanted to know if anybody has any thoughts about that. Um, hope that you guys are all doing very, very well. And I will um, hopefully check in later. Oh, yeah, the other thing was that I will be back to my um, lowest injection weight for round two tomorrow. I wasn't expecting it to be so soon because I had not done well on P3, not stabilized pretty much, and also gained weight on my load, but I will be back to the, um, the that lowest injection weight tomorrow, I would guess, so anyhow, um, hope you're all well, bye.